Hey, I'm Andy. And my name is Jacinda Bradley. And today I will be talking about how I intend to pursue in my career. Since I was little, I've always had a strong interest towards different cultural backgrounds. I was able to grow up in a diverse family, in a diverse neighborhood, where I was able to connect and meet different people and experience their traditions, their food, their music, and their language. From then, I took my passion, more so interest, to study anthropology. I was able to learn about different cultures as well as experience some of the cultures that I was learning about, but it gave me a clear eye on what I wanted to do as I got older, and that was profiling. I moved out to Florida to attend UCF to study behavior science and psychology because I wanted to, I saw that I was more interested in a criminal background. Every day, an average of 30 people are killed, 53 commit suicide, two die accidentally, and every 17 minutes, someone is shot. This is only to show that death will always be present, and unfortunately, that will mean that there's always going to be a job for people who work in the criminal environment. Lucky for me, because that's how I work. But anyways. Okay, today I'm going to be going over three main topics. The first one will be how my profession personally deals with me and how I connect with it. My second one will be how I plan to pursue my major and the degrees that I will need to obtain in order to get there. And the third one is the course of action and what I intend to do after I get it. I thought I read you. First one, intertwined. We had to do an assignment, a personality assignment, where we took a couple, where we answered a couple questions, and it assigned us our personality, and it told us our strengths and our weaknesses, and what careers we would work best in. I was ISTJ, and the most, the personality that I most agreed out of that was management. The other ones I did not really agree with because it didn't really explain me. It didn't define me. And to define myself, I would say I'm an engager, a communicator, and a body behavioral interpreter, which is also something that is very, that is strongly needed in this profession, as, as well as having a, a headstrong attitude. Next, I'll be talking about my requirements for job outlook. With this profession, there's always going to be an opportunity, whether it's working in the lab or doing case studies, so on and so on. With this, also, it's a high-risk job, so I have to be alert and I have to be aware of everything going on around me. And there's always going to be something to do, whether it's paperwork, evidence, or I'm in court having to give information for the jury. <coughs> With educational requirements, I will be obtaining my behavioral, my bachelor's in behavioral science and psychology, where I will be taking classes ranging from sociology, psychology, and criminology. I plan to do internships. I want to do one with a mental hospital shadowing a consultant. And then I also plan to do a summer volunteer program with the FBI, which will be great because that is something that I want to do so it'll get my foot in the door and be recognized by the corporation itself. And then I also would, I also intend to get into government city jobs, so I am recognized in the area that I live in, and also volunteer work because that's always going to be very important, especially when filling out applications for anywhere. That's one of the most things that they look at is making sure that you actually connect with your community which is something I believe I'm good at because I always love to give back. Now with this, there's always going to be money. So far, I am at Valencia getting my associates in science. As of right now, I've spent almost four grand, mainly because I was here for a half a year, or a year and a half, excuse me. And the first year, I was out of state, so tuition was more. Then I will be transferring to UCF, getting my bachelor's in behavioral science and psychology, and I'll be there for roughly two and a half years, where I will be spending 39 grand, estimation of 39 grand, not to mention master's in getting my license. Um, with this profession, I want to not only just be in forensics, I want to be in 
I want to be a profiler. But in order to be a profiler, there's not really a checklist on the application for profiling. I intend to get into the FBI before I am 25 and work, the, work within the three to five year range so that I am more familiar with the different situations that go on, such as kidnapping, homicides, um, serial killings, and all that other crazy stuff that I will have to be experienced to before I can even um, think about being a profiler. So to reiterate what I talked about, my first one was my how I intertwine with my profession. The second one is how I plan to achieve my degrees and my goals. And the last one is the course of action and how I will take it after I graduate. Thank you for listening. You won't clap for long.